All right, guys, today we're going to look at building the perfect $100 loadout. Now, I am going to fully back a majority of these games. There's a couple that have a little bit of variance that you can mix and match. But overall, I think if you're spending $100 on loadout, you can definitely get some insane stuff using the recent budget split breakdown that we posted about. So let's get into this. But first, I'll tell you about the giveaway for today, which is going to be for this USP Jawbreaker in Field Test It. This is one of my favorite USP skins right now. And all you have to do to enter this is make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know your favorite skin from today's video. And let's get into it. If you want the best place to buy and sell your CS2 skins, then look no further than today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport offers users a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for buying and selling Counter-Strike skins with the benefit of items being much cheaper compared to buying on the Steam community market. This is the way. This is the way. There are no buying fees. Selling fees range between 2 to 12%, and there's over 1 million skins available on Skinport at any time. With a great trust pilot rating, it's the perfect place to start building your loadout, whether you're going for budget gems or picking up some insane skins. They are also the reason we can keep running giveaways to give back to you guys. So make sure you check out Skinport using the links in the description or pinned comment. And let's get back to the video. Now, because we're doing the new budget split format, I'm going to shuffle how we go around it a little bit. I'm going to show the filler skins first because we're not spending too much money on them. We clear them up and then we spend a lot on the main skins. So kicking off, we have an MP9 Deadly Poison. This is just under half a dollar for minimal wear and is a super nice skin. Then for the exact same price, you're able to pick up this beautiful MAC-10 Allure, which is just so good for the value for money. Another nice cheap pickup is going to be the P250 because they're going to go for a cassette in minimal wear, which will run you just six cent. We will drop a little bit more on the Tech 9, but we are going to get the Bamboozle, which for half a dollar in minimal wear, I think is an incredibly, incredibly good Tech 9. And alternatives to this could maybe be going for a Mummy's Rot and like field test at the Battle Scarred. Now, we don't use the fam as much, so we're going to go cheap and cheerful here with the Meow 36. This in minimal wear will run you 8 cents. So here we're just continuing to get really nice budget friendly skins that fit in, but don't break the bank. Then for the Gale, I'm going to switch up and go for a Crimson Tsunami. Now, this is a $1.81 in minimal wear, so you can have a conversation if you want to go for a Chromatic Aberration, a Stone Cold, or Tuxedo. There's a, there's a few different skins you can go for instead. I'm aware of that. I wanted to offer something a bit different in the actual showcase, and today, that's why I've gone for a Crimson Tsunami. Then the 5.7 Boost Protocol is without a doubt a solid pick here. This is a $1.44 for minimal wear. Looks the part, super cheap. What more do we want? Then over on the dual breath side of things, I'm going to go for the dueling dragons. These are 25 cent in minimal wear. There is a handful of cheap dual breath as you can go for. Take your pick, but I think this is one of the best options. Now, a favorite of mine that I might have to consider picking up is the SG Alloa because in minimal wear, this is 8 cent. It is pattern based, so you can get a little bit of different colors here and there, but it gets full design all over the scope, which is so good for the price. Then we have a Stymphilian for the AUG. I've picked this. This is minimal wear for a dollar and ten. Really nice, if you ask me. I've been using one for a while. I think you're getting so much artwork and design here for the price you're paying. Then for the XM, absolutely no brainer. We're gonna go for a watchdog, which is a dollar fourteen for minimal wear. Great sort of like jade coloring for the green. It works really well with the jade gloves and then a nice sort of bronze accents. I don't want to spend too much on the MP7. That's what we've gone for an Urban Hazard for 11 cent. This one for me just looks quite good for the money you're paying. You've got a nice accent of orange on it, a little bit of camo. It fits the bill quite nicely. And then finally, to round off the sort of bonus filler skins, we have the SSG, the Scout Disaster in minimal wear. It will cost you... 13 cent and honestly i'm considering picking up one of these myself to mix with the dragon of fire and the acid fade now i've gone for these first because just to showcase these filler skins cost seven dollars and 63 cent of the overall 100 dollar budget so we have followed that format of using less than 10 percent for all the bonus stuff and now we're going to go spend like 90 percent of it on the main skins we should be focusing on now one of the things this allows us to do is go and get a glock 18 Pink DD pad in minimal wear. It is a souvenir to get it for a better price, and this runs you about six dollars forty. This one scraped the souvenirs off it, but you could have some gold souvenirs on this if you wanted to have it shine a little bit more. Now, I'm not forcing a pink theme by any means here, but I think for the value for money you get with the Cortex, this is two dollars eighty. It is such a nice version. You get this sort of white coloring with the pink, normally two premium colors. So minimum wear for this for under three dollars is bang on. 
And speaking of banging on, I could bang on about an acid etch some more, but I'm going to suggest the Pulse today. This is $2.30 for minimum wear. Acid etch is the other option I would consider in this price range. And then we get into the real sort of expensive skins in this loadout. We're going to have a Desert Eagle Midnight Storm for our Deagle. This is factory new. It's about $26, $27, just as a reminder that these prices are from the 31st of May. So it allows some variance in the time frame, but... I've not, I've not gone for like an overpay for like a low float. This is actually like a 0 0.05 float. You can see it looks pretty damn clean. And on these T side and CT side forces and low buys, you're going to get the Deagle out a lot. So I think it makes sense to emphasize a bit of budget towards this over the legs of a 5.7 and a Tech 9. Now for the AK-47, there were a few different considerations I had. And it sort of depends if you want to go minimal wear, battle scarred. Like if you go battle scarred, well worn, that opens up some other things. But I think the average person wants like a minimal wear field test range. So I've gone for a headshot here just under $25 for minimal wear at the time of planning this and what I like about this is it has a mix of colors on it depending if you're inspecting it how you're using it where you're looking in game and I think since this has been released it's definitely seemed to have grown on people actually works pretty well with the uh, lieutenant commander gloves here and this is a really nice pickup now you might all be expecting a black lotus for the M4M&S but I have a better option and it's going to be the nightmare in minimal wear now I know this gets a bit more wear, it actually gets more wear in general than the Black Lotus does, and Factory New is the sweet spot for this, but $16 for minimal wear, and the skin that has this much design, this like much brightness on it, I think this is an incredibly nice pickup. Then I'm going to go back to the Neo Noir for the M4A4. This isn't one we've showcased for a while, but again, I think for like a an average mix of colors, like a user building a loadout, this works pretty well for the $10 mark in minimal wear. Obviously, we've got the likes of Spider Lilies, Evil Daimyos, In Living Colors. We can get all of those in this budget, but I think the overall offering and colors of the Neo Noir is super good. And then what that does is it leaves us with just the up to go with about a $5 budget, which I then have two options. The first one is going to be the Aetherius in Minimal Wear. This is $4.66. Yes, you were not going to get through one of my budget loadout videos without me mentioning this skin. The agenda continues. But the alternative to this is very similarly priced. It's $4.55, literally 11 cent difference here in minimal wear. And I think this is a fantastic skin. I think it's definitely a bit slapped on because people are a bit angry that the doodle lore got replaced with this. But I think Jolly is definitely one of the better op skins in the game right now. And the fact you get it for under $5 is crazy. So just before I remind you of the giveaway for today... I just want to take a moment to say a big thank you to the YouTube members that are supporting the channel. That is AJ, Tom, Twin Daddy, and Itachi. The support is greatly appreciated. And just if you guys aren't aware, YouTube memberships is very similar to like Twitch Prime. You'll see a join or a member button down below. And part of that is getting access to like the emojis we've created and dedicated VIP part of the Discord. Then you get priority when it comes to inventory reviews and stuff like that. But... Just to remind, the giveaway is going to be for a field test jawbreaker. I really like this skin. I think it looks great even in field test. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of your favorite skin from this video to enter. Good luck to those entering. We'll pick the winner in a few days and announce it on stream. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. This is a $100 loadout, loadout that I think looks incredibly good. Top tier skins pretty much across the board that is affordable and everyone can get. So hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Good. Bye.